I didn't get a spirit heart from the feast. I know, and I I cooked. I did all the cooking. An axe. Okay, I love it. I don't like that it's vampiric, but I love it. And then we're gonna make sure. We gotta try to get some grass to get the farm popping. What the hell? You hit me immediately. How dare you? Also, this is my. A lot of people disagree with me on this one. They're gonna say bad take. I actually don't like when. Feel excuse me. I don't like when you have to break stuff on a dungeon to get resources. I know you're gonna say like, what about in Isaac? No, even in Isaac, I'm like, I just find it to be busy work. Like I, you have to. I like when you. Finish the room, like, some of the stuff gives you resources so that you don't have to break it. What I don't like is knowing that if I just spent, like, a little extra time doing busy work, I might get a few more resources. A bed has collapsed. Like, I'm, I've been doing it for, for 30 years now. I'm, I'm done breaking stuff. I want to I wanna finally create some stuff. Insanely high value play. He's amazing. How do you feel about breaking your freaking face tonight? If I'm at Woodstock 99, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do to stay alive. Ooh, hello. Tarot room? No tarot room? Tarot room? Okay, this dungeon is no joke. It's just gonna take us a little while to get used to it. It's no joke right now, though. Okay, if I break you, you don't spawn an enemy. That makes more sense. But I do, I really like Cult of the Lamb. If anything, I think it's a testament to like the game design that like none of the individual elements on their own would make like a, a game this compelling. But the the systems that interlink them make it very compelling. Like I was telling Kate last night, I said, before I play Cult of the Lamb, I'm always like, oh, it seems like such a chore. I gotta go harvest some resources. I gotta go, uh, you know, clean the toilets and stuff like that. After I'm playing it, I'm like, Oh, just 15 more minutes, man. I just gotta clean the shitter real quick. Three beetroots! Okay, break break these. He's, he's, in, he's incredible. He's got it all figured out. Where's my damn tarot cards, man? Spider silk. Well, there's a tarot card. Sure, why not? I played it for three days straight, then started a new file. I will say, I think once I finish it, I'm probably done with it just because this is already on the hardest difficulty. I, I think I would just be playing the greatest hits again. But I'm having a great time with it. I'm very glad that I went to the hardest difficulty. Not to brag or whatever. Sure. We already get a spirit heart, so let's receive double the health when healing. I'll flex. Yeah, they if they can mod in a harder difficulty, that would be nice. I just don't... So what happens to me a lot of the time is, like, I play on the hardest difficulty that they offer for normies, but then I get bored because it's, like, it's easy. So if they could offer maybe something for like real gamers, then that would be nice. But until then, I don't know. A little beetroot. I mean, I know there's probably some other streamers out there that are playing on like a uh, hard or like God forbid normal difficulty. I don't. At that point, I don't know. I'd probably just delete my Twitch channel. But you know it's different strokes for different folks i all i can say is congratulations um you cheated yourself out of a great game you didn't struggle you didn't learn anything what's the what's the copy pasta 
Let me get a follower. They took my family and sacrificed them to Shamora. Now I'm all alone. Alright, well. Does he make you feel health? You cheated the game, you cheated yourself. My new, th I, I don't know if you've noticed this, probably. My new thing is saying deliberately um, crazy things and then adding, would love to know your thoughts on this. I feel like you can get away with saying some really stupid stuff as long as you add, um, would love some thoughts on this at the end of the sentence. It's been working out so far. You experienced a hollow victory. Nothing was risked and nothing was gained. It's sad that you don't know the difference. It's so funny. Oh, Ooh, what the hell? Those aren't cheese balls? Those aren't pillows? I love gaming. What a pursuit. Up yours, woke moralist. Okay, hold on. Wait, you guys all gotta go. You did not go in time. I watched the streamer play on normal. The difference is huge. The difference between my skill and their skill or the difference between the difficulty of the games. I just... I'm just not gonna... I'm just gonna pretend it's that I'm so good. Both? Well, when I played, like, the pre-release on hard, it became very clear in the dungeons early that, I, like, hard is not hard enough for the dungeons. I thought maybe it would be hard enough for the colony, but actually the colony management stuff is really... Not, not to sound, again, like a hater. The colony management stuff is actually really easy because, like, whenever you get into trouble, you got a bunch of levers you can pull to bail yourself out. Like, you got endless rituals that give you, like, whatever meter you need to fill up. So the dungeons are actually the hard part, but you gotta crank up the difficulty to your own degree of, uh, of design. I mean, if you wanna, I'm not actually one of those people that's like, you gotta play games on the hardest difficulty. You should just play them on whatever is most, you know, enjoyable for you. But a game being too easy is definitely worse than a game being too hard. As long as the game is like good, that's for just for me, at least. Because too easy is just, like, boring most of the time. They, they, like, okay, in, like, Life is Strange or something like that could be a, a counterexample. Like, I don't, I don't need the quick time events to be impossible as if the writing's good. Um, but for most games, especially games intended to be played for, like, a long period of time, I'd rather have them be a little bit, take a little longer to get a handle on the mechanics than just be like, you know, click, 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 you're dead, click, 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 you're dead. Bane Sword 11. I like my right click decently enough. I'm gonna take my Bane Sword 11 here. Recycle you. That's me with Tower of Fantasy. I don't wanna offend you, chat, because maybe you're gonna be like, it's a missed opportunity. I did have a bounty for Tower of Fantasy. I opted not to uh, pursue it. <laughs> but I told my wife about it immediately because I was like, this seems way up her alley. Okay, didn't, didn't expect that. But, and then, wouldn't you know it, when I told her about it, she was like, guess what? I already took the bounty. She was one step ahead of me. Right? Okay, I forgot. You're gonna shoot? Yeah, here comes the shot. That's a bite. That's a shot. You can tell from the boils on his back. That was a good one. Now don't get hit by the shot here. Huge, huge. Huge. He's out of here. Don't get hit by this shot. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's biting. He's shooting. Nothing wrong with that. Dude, the music's going off too. Holy cow. 
It sounds like that one good Justin Bieber album where he was experimenting with uh, electronic music. But without the vocals, so um, even better. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not taking 13 stone. I'm never giving anybody necklaces, apparently. So I guess I'll take 31 gold nuggets. I'm rich. Justin Bieber's Canadian. So true, so true. Wait, do you guys like Justin Bieber that much? Would love to know your thoughts on this. I was also trying to think of uh, uh, another tweet to do. And the tweet would be like, old people when a young person is talking about the relationship between Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello, and they would be like, the, the guy yelling, you know the one I'm talking about, the guy in front of the garage just going, rah, 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 rah. and then the next part would be old people when somebody explains the rivalry between Eric Clapton and George Harrison that led to the writing of Layla, and then it could be like the Giga Chad, um, like pan down, and the, anyway, because it's like this, oh, Old old people, when you mention um, Florence Pugh and Zach Braff broke up versus when you ask them about the relationship status of Fleetwood Mac. Something like that. Like, it's been, it's been rolling around in my head a little bit. That's a follower. Ooh. Hold on. I got to make sure we got enough beds. That's a lot of devotion. I think we we have exactly three beds. Look at that. Okay. What, welcome. You've made it back. I'm sorry. I failed. What the hell? Don't come over by me. He came back just to die. Old monster, I'm sorry. I mean, you had like an 87% chance of living there. Plus, you didn't bring back any damn resources. And, well, you know what, though? We definitely have enough beds now. That's for damn sure. All right, Mal, finally. Oh, my God. I thought he had like one pixel left. Do you know how long you've been in prison? You've been in prison for like 11 dog years. Why, why are so many people sick, too? Oh, because the shitter's full. Of course. Oh, beetroots, please. Can we pl plant some beetroots? I also got to remember. Holy cow. What, what else are we looking for here? Just let me think for a second. We're, we're midday. Okay, Lakes. Why don't you go out here and give me some... Honestly, just give me some meat, okay? I, I don't want to lose another colonist here. Then we're going to do another sermon real quick. Yeah, Kate's been back for a while and she's, I mean, she's been killing it. Except when she came back and then tried to like descend and steal a bunch of money. But then we just threw her in prison for a couple days, which she was oddly like very into. And then, um, then it was fine. Then we had nothing to worry about. Quick ritual. Um, quick ritual, quick ritual. I love you. I love distributing alms. I... Otherwise, I don't think we need to do anything. I think we're chilling. But you know, hold on. We can just run this straight back. 20% extra devotion forever. Do the fishing one. Yeah, but then I got a fish. I did a lot of fishing yesterday. By the way, thanks for the alms. Everyone's pogs. Hello. Still a little hungry though. 
You know why you're freaking hungry? Is because whoever's working on the damn farm is like the slowest harvester of all time. This shit drives me crazy. Okay. Been asked a couple of things. One is, can you build a second outhouse? Yes, we can. This should also help us get more fertilizer. That's positive. Also, we can make a harvest totem increase the growth of all farm plots within range. That's not an outhouse. You just build a second janitor station. Okay? That's unfortunate. You know what? For now, your ass is going to be right there. At least it's something. Okay, give me a quick refund here. And then sh shitter. There you go. The one with the poop on it. Your plants aren't growing because they aren't being watered. They're going to be watered. You just need the people to actually water them. We got the, the, It does seem like my farm workflow is like kind of bugged. Just let me just build the shitter real quick. Someone says save and reload. It might help out. I'll give it a try. I would love to think that it's a bug and not just the way that I set it up. I could easily be wrong. That's that's heavy copium, but... Anybody else want to help? I see a lot of people just walking around, waving their damn arms. Okay. Big plays. I would like to edit buildings. And I would like to move this to here and move this to here. Okay, then I want to make sure our cues are popping. That was the least sane way to do that. But whatever. How do I edit building? And a follow-up question, how do I shot web? You ever consider that one? Now I gotta I gotta cook some damn meals apparently. Ho! Oh! I don't know, but like the fact that we can make these is very nice. We can make three splendid vegetable feasts and a paltry pumpkin soup, but people are gonna be hungry, man. Oh my god, the bar. Don't get greedy on these ones. 50% chance of increasing follower loyalty is kind of sick, though. Got collect the reward from Kate. Very true. Very true. We could do a feast, I guess, and then their hunger would be full. Holy cow. And then I'm going to save... I'm going to main menu. I'm going to reload. And then maybe our farm will work. Yeah, we don't get any stone pieces anymore because we, uh, we're maxed. We're fully maxed out. I see two people working on this farm. I'm thrilled. We, we've unlocked all the doctrines. That's beautiful. Okay, and you got some good storage for us. What else do we need with soup? Demonic summoning circle we've never used at all. I, we want cult level four, I suppose. Collect, and then we get, the bank account gets bigger. So when they're getting more devotion, I can actually take advantage of said devotion. Honestly, if you're like a demigod right now, your ass is definitely canceled. We also needed another stone mine because our other one broke. And while we're at it, you know what? Maybe it could be worse than another lumber yard. Just keep those primary resources flowing. You guys can build those. The thing is popping off, man. And then do we have it? We don't have enough for. Oh, we do. We have enough for one grave. Who gets it? I'd like to give it to VIP Daniel. No, wait, he's alive now. I'd like to give it to Oat Monster, who came back just to die. 
See, even in death, we, we prioritize success. And merit. Okay. I think we're ready to go on a mission, although you guys are going to be mighty hungry. But, okay, hold on first. Now we're talking. Everybody's going to be feasting soon. Finally, the farm is working again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What do we do? Cook some meals before people leave? I don't have enough for a splendid vegetable feast. Okay, take some, take some cauliflower chowder then. You also have three new people to indoctrinate. Can I tell you, in all honesty, I completely forgot about that. Peppa likes feasting. Everybody likes feasting. How do you feel? Am I the asshole? I went to my grandfather's birthday party at a fancy restaurant. What did I? This one was rigged. Probably because of the save and quit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Am I the asshole? I went to a fancy dinner at my uh, at a uh, my. I went to my grandfather's birthday party at a fancy restaurant. The menu consisted only of pickled herring and cream of Swede. When the waiter asked me what I wanted, I said spaghetti. He said, Buh? Spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. And then the chef came out with two plates of spaghetti for me and my younger brother. And then everyone else in the restaurant said, actually, I'll have spaghetti too. I'll have spaghetti too. And everybody stood up and clapped. Am I the asshole? That's an episode of Peppa Pig. Bodacious bandit. 216 messages. Follower for six years. J literally, your entire message history is just TY, 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 and lull. And then there's some pog in here. And then there's some have a good night. It's uh, extremely positive chatter. Look at that. Holy cow. It's Malfurion. I must protect the wild. I don't know. Go worship or something. Why don't you like Montessori it? Like, why don't you just do what you feel you're best at? Put them on the farm. Okay, so everybody said put them on the farm. Then I put like 10 people on the farm and people were like, you can only have one person per farm station. So then I stopped putting people on the farm and now everybody's like, put them back on the farm. Slash user, we got Bruss 16. Follower for six years. VIP Daniel WTF. Remember when Dan stinkored us. Bye to the world's best baby. I remember the NL Sings era. Your colony is popping off. Look at this. I'm an Omega Sporkle lover. We got a lot of positive chatters, man. You don't know while Dan Stinkor? No, I'm I'm past the point where I allow Dan to use me for content. You know when I told him um, about the Australian candy quiz, he gave me a job after I gave him that beautiful piece of content idea. He said, hey, can you also write something in here like, I dare you to do this quiz? And I'm just like, I'm done with it, man. I'm done with it. So I just replied to him and said, why don't you just make something up? You don't need me to actually type it. Why don't you make the title for your own video and then just like, <laughs> just like, you do it that way. Just use that as the conceit. The other farmer died? I'd be surprised. Honestly, oh my God, they're taking my meals. They're taking my stone. Hey, before you go to bed, Sips, just a quick uh, inspiration for you. Dude, I feel like Sips has lived forever. You're taking my consecrated wood? That's just regular wood, but still.
Spiders give you meat for wood. It's a good deal. Yeah, but what if um, I wanted... What if I have wood for sheep? You ever consider that? Beauty, beauty, beauty. Are we building something? We're not building anything. I'm out of here. The cult's in an amazing place. Maybe I'll cook something real quick. I'll cook a few of these real quick just to, just to keep them off my back. I'm not making anybody eat a bowl of poop, okay? You can also eat a meal for a spirit heart. You know what? Let's go. My spirit heart. Woo. Okay, we gotta do this shit five times. And then there's gotta be like a final boss at the end as well. It's not happening today, but it might happen this week. Trader's Razor, Trent, Trent's Resnor, and the Divine Blizzard. Still could use more grass. What the hell is this? Whoa! 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 <laughs> okay, literally just mashing buttons. My my reaction when they announce a C-3PO origin movie at Star Wars Con 2023. Whoa! I can't wait, man. My reaction when the, when the credit uh, or when the title comes up and the movie's just called fucking D two. Before he was R two, he was fucking D two. So horrible joke. It's just an insane joke. Making fun of things people like. I know Jay's not here because if he was here, he'd be like, just let people enjoy things, which is fair. That Patton Oswald bit from like 20 years ago now. Where he was talking about the Star Wars prequels and was like, nobody cares how the cool things got on the screen. They just want to see more cool things. It bit has aged really well. Because, uh, like, they just keep making more movies. Like, who cares w about Willy Wonka, like, before he was Willy Wonka? I like, he's just, he's a weird dude who just shows up and you're like, what, what's up with this freak run in the candy shop? I gotta know more about this guy. I don't care about how the mayor of Panem in the Hunger Games became the mayor. I just, I don't need to see his electioneering. I just, let me see uh, the first two movies before they got really, really bad. I'll make an exception huge. I'll make an exception though for the Wednesday Adams movie. I gotta know before she was Wednesday Adams. She was Tuesday fucking Adams. <laughs> what is this? Midas's cave cave open 7 days. All right. I'll visit Midas's cave. Just the dumbest bits. Oh, I'm just like I think I speak for a lot of people when I say I'm sick of prequels. And you might say they make money, but I really don't think they do. I think prequels have, like, they've killed a lot of franchises. But maybe they were only killed because that was them on, like, their last gasp anyway. Okay, Better Call Saul, a notable counterexample. No doubt about that. Prey was great. I don't know if I would describe Prey as a prequel. I finally finished it. It does take place before Predator, but the movie is not like, find out how the Predator became the Predator. It's just like, it takes place in an earlier time period, but it's not a prequel. It's like Master and Commander is not a prequel to Train Spotting, just because Master and Commander took place in the Age of Discovery and Train Spotting was like 25 years ago. That's my, my two cents on it, at least. Prey was garbage. I thought Prey was pretty good. I enjoyed. I enjoyed it. Ah, I'm leaving. Nice try. Thought it was pretty good. Why am I attacking this thing that doesn't die? Not not smart. Not smart.
But like, especially like, like the Star Wars stuff, I get it, don't get me wrong. But like, I'm so sick of, like we, I feel like I know the life story of like every character that even has a tangential relationship with the original trilogy. I'm over it, man. Can we get some new stuff? We had like some new stories. We got the Mandalorian, but like, I don't know. They, they can't, they're not making the damn Mandalorian. Oh, I don't have enough gold. What about Mon Mothma? We found out more about Mon Mothma in Rogue One, dude. We're like, whoa, there's Mon Mothma. We get, we get to see her girl bossing and ordering Jin Urso to go on a suicide mission. Who's Mon Mothma? Were you even paying attention? She's the Star Wars character who looks like Enya. Rutabagus. More like Nanya. True? That's pretty true. Star Wars names be like Mon Mothma. Also true. It's also true. Can't really deny that. You can hit those beats. Who do you think I am? Dr. Dre? I just want to see shit blow up and sword fights. Yeah, but like, I don't... I mean, Solo was like... Solo kind of was where I lost my desire to see any of the main Star Wars movies for a while. I, I feel like there's like a lesson to be had in storytelling. Which is if you like create a cool character and nobody really knows their backstory, it's just hinted at. You don't need to make a move. Like it's, it, you, instead of making a story, you're, you're making a product. When you're like, okay, we're gonna make something that has Han Solo's origin story. He's cooler when he's more mysterious. I don't need to see how how he became the the lovable scruffy looking nerf herder that we see before us in the first movie just you know and people were like yeah but it makes money but like but solo like bombed right and so, I think Lightyear did as well and I, I kind of before it became a political issue that's what I was saying about Lightyear is just like I don't I just sort of don't get it <laughs> but I haven't seen it, so it's a very unfair criticism. But I was like, he's a dude disguised as another dude? So Light Lightyear is the... Light Buzz Lightyear is in the Pixar universe. He is a fictional astronaut who goes on missions. Who in Toy Story has become an action figure that gets sold to people and kids so they can play with. But in the movie, the movie is not like we're watching an adventure of Buzz Lightyear, the character. The movie is like you're inside of the Buzz Lightyear universe. And he's like a, like it's, it's played like it's a real thing. It's not played like it's on TV show, on a TV show or something. No, wrong. It's played like it's a, it, it's a TV show. Okay, never mind. I'll just type idiot. Come on. That's, I, I literally asked the question. Hold on. Amish Andrew. How did you get access to the internet? It's a movie that Andy saw, idiot. <laughs> oh man. What a what a comment. 2 weeks ago, it's the end of the quarter. I'm busy. All right. Well, not too busy to know uh the origin story of uh Buzz Lightyear apparently. My mistake. I didn't realize. I didn't realize there were some real buzz heads in the chat right now. I'm not gonna VIP them. That's I'm I'm sending the wrong message if I if I VIP that kind of toxicity. You're literally a buzzed head. Okay, you know what? Plus two. I'll take twenty percent more damage during the day. It's just like I'm I'm so not interested in in learning more about like if it makes like john wick is a different you can bad chest me for it all, all you want i want to see more of the adventures of john wick i want to see john wick as we presently know him 
getting older and then involved in increasingly more insane stuff. Just to see how far they can push it. I want to see an 80 year old John Wick still getting into like kung fu fights and stuff like that. What I don't want is like a, a movie called Wick where we find out that actually, oh, this is like him when he was 25 and he's in the special forces. But then his commander says, hey, John, burn that village down. And he's like, sir, they didn't do anything wrong. And he's like, that's an order, John. And then he refuses. So then he goes on the lamb and he gets picked up by like the Merovingian. And then uh, he's uh, indoctrinated into the weird foundation that they do, uh, the, uh, the Continental. I don't want to see that. And then at the end, they're like, he's like, my name isn't, you know, Bill Alexanderson anymore. Call me John. And then everyone goes, but Jeff, Joy, that's when he truly began. One of the moments in cinema history when he, when Bill Alexanderson said, my name is John. Many people in my theater. I don't, but if they want to keep, if the movies keep being good, and they keep making more sequels and building on the story, then I'm like, that's cool. I'm, I'm down with that. It's just the prequel stuff I don't care about. Now, the one exception is, for Game of Thrones, I think it makes way more sense to do a prequel than a sequel, because they left the story in a horrible place. So, you know, I guess if it's better at the start than it was at the finish, you'd probably rather have a prequel, maybe, to piggyback off of that stuff, but... These spiders sound like they're saying, Ryan, Ryan. It's freaking me the heck out, man. Oh, man. Ryan. What's this guy's problem? Thanks for the bones, dummy. No, I'm not going to bow to you, okay? I'm not going to bow to my sensei. I'll fight some some idiots. I don't care. Ryan! Anyway, that's my thoughts on movies. Would, would love to hear people's thoughts on this. It must be so funny to be like an actor. Because, like, I bet there's times where as soon as you sign on to a movie, you're like, this shit is going to suck ass. I read the script. No, no amount of, like, good production or acting is going to save this horrible script. So then I guess you're just kind of, like, fucking off for, like, nine months. Like, you're showing up to work but not really caring all that much. People are coming in and like catering and you're you're eating the sandwiches like sorry you had to provide the sandwiches on movie 43 when you could have been working on you know Parasite instead. I guess those movies kind of came out of different time periods, but still. Yeah, then you still gotta do the press junket. People will be like, what's your character's motivation in this movie? Hugh Jackman's like, well he has balls on his neck. So his motivation is like the balls, I think, is just the balls on his neck is the motivation. It's a heck of a room, man. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna try to claw me here. What kind of claws were these? Vampiric? Vampiric, okay. That could save us if we get really lucky. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm prequeled out. I never thought I would become like pro sequel, but like, if Hollywood's gonna make one or the other, definitely give me more sequels than prequels. As long as they keep making Jonathan, so I'm not so, I forgot about this guy, he sucks. You freaking stink. I got hit? No, that was my crit attack. Get out of there. Get into there. Watch this. Watch this. Ooh. I-frames. They're called invincibility frames, Dad. 
saved. I don't think I'm cracked at this game. I think I've gotten very lucky with the amount of hearts I've received. Oh, I thought you were honestly a stationary object. I gotta do the combo. You gotta do the combo, and then you just keep the combo rolling, like Arcade Fire's second album. That one has keep the car running, right? That's, I'm not thinking of the suburbs. Let me fight the boss, I'm ready. Get over there, get over there. We did it, we got in. I can't see what's happening. He's rolling. He's rolling. He's endlessly comboing. There's a damn spider on the roof. I would prefer... I would prefer to double our freeze synergy. Thank you. Neon Bible, great album. I listened to uh, a ton of that at my summer job in my first year of university, for sure. And then I, li I listened to a lot. I mean, I listened to a ton of Funeral, don't get me wrong. But I listened to a lot of the suburbs, too. And then I stopped listening to new music forever. Don't even try it. I'm about to die. You can't summon something in death. That breaks the rules. That seems like a boss fight. I mean, Suburbs has um, Sprawl 2, Mountains Beyond Mountains on it. I, I'm actually stupid. I literally was just like, what's gonna stop me from left clicking? Ooh. Don't heal him. Ignorant. Deserved. Deserved. It's deserved. It's a deserved death. Lost all my damn beats. Look at that, though. <laughs> I hate coming back at the nighttime. I gotta wait for all these lazy bones to wake up. The all music is bad trope went from being funny to cringe over the last few years. Well, I haven't changed at all. So I am, I'm wondering what happened to you. It's not like a take. I'm not saying all music is bad. There's probably some great new music. I'm just full. It's like when you're at a restaurant and you've had, you know, 30 years of courses. And then the chef says, hey, here's one more course. It's delicious. I'm like, sorry, brother. My stomach's full of Steely Dan right now. Oh, we almost purpled it. That's a limiting way to live. I have a lot of shit on my plate right now. I'm sorry that my life is not fully fulfilling because I haven't listened to the new Meg the Stallion album that came out. I saw that it got reviewed by Anthony Fantano, but I'm a busy raising my damn kid. I haven't listened to the new Heim track yet. I, I, I don't feel limited. Okay, hold on, raffle me real quick. Just a very condescending sentence. That's a limiting way to live. Let me see what you ate for dinner last night. I swear to God, if it's three foods that are the same shade of brown, I'm gonna flip my fucking lid. If it was chicken tenders and fries with gravy on them, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow a fucking gasket. I'm gonna lose my mind. If it was mac and cheese with a glass of two percent milk, I'm gonna die. Doctor Whiskus slash user Doctor Whiskus. Five messages, 
follower for seven years. This is insane. There was a message December 21st, 2017, a Y in chat in 2020, a play and a boost in chat on a marble stream, and then a giveaway in chat, July 2020. That's incredible. That's like less than one message a year. A, a sorcerer level lurker. Well, you know what? It paid off. Look at that. It is funny. What if we gave VIPs to lurkers? Because then if you actually saw the VIP badge, you would be like, Oh! Oh! Okay, they're not happy. <laughs> Do a quick uh, sermon. We'll have time for some zombs here. Mm -mm. VIP me? I'm a lurker? You're already a mod. Mod is above VIP, I'm sorry to say. So no offense to the mod, or no offense to the VIPs. Um, we're about to get Ultima weapon. Mods are VIPs that have to do work. They don't really have to. I mean, like... Honestly, the mods, they're mostly there as like a deterrent. <laughs> chat could get on Ruli sometimes, so then we got like more mods, and then chat's been pretty good since then. It's just they see the mods there, so they're like, oh, don't mess around, the mods will get you. But you do get access to the private mods Discord uh, text channel, which is 99% of the time is just used to make fun of a ban request that came in that's insane. You harvest him? You harvest him? You harvest him? Okay, I was safe for now. Just save me. And then, let's play a little Zoms, man. <laughs> <laughs> 